Welcome back, guys. Um, today I thought I'd talk a little bit about a hobby of mine, which is uh, playing guitar uh, and several other instruments. And I like to interface with uh, the computer. Uh, now, I do have several conventional amplifiers, both solid state and vacuum tube, but uh, normally I like to interface with the computer because um, you can manipulate your sound so many different ways uh, and when you have the digital audio workstations uh, the MIDI the, the guitar and amp modeling software uh, it just takes the whole experience uh, to a different level and you have much more control over the finished product so I enjoy uh, digital audio and in many forms now normally up to now I use um, Mac my Mac OS software it's very very easy uh, you just plug in your interface which is something like this and you can see the guitar plugs in at the end and it interfaces with your computer and uh, with the Mac or with Windows it makes th things pretty easy because you just plug in your guitar and you open up your digital audio workstation software your amp modeling software and you're pretty much good to go it sets up normally it recognizes the input correctly and it recognizes the output and it's very easy to set those um, if you need to. With Linux, it's a little bit more challenging because the software is not as intuitive. The software is not as easy to set up. And so it makes it a little bit more um, confusing at the beginning. So in order to set your input for your guitar, your output for your speakers, or, or change the output to your headphones. Lots of uh, manual manipulation goes on within Linux that uh, the Mac pretty much takes care of it for you. So Linux has a little bit of a ways to go uh, in that department. Now one of the choices that I had to make when I first got into this was do I want to use a, a distribution that is geared towards digital music or let's say um, multimedia and there are lots of those around uh, and I tried several of them but normally it brings in when you when you install those particular distributions it brings in software from several different categories so if you're doing video production if you're doing desktop publishing if you're doing music or audio it brings everything in and sometimes you don't want it all so what I decided to do was because of the software availability I went with Ubuntu and because I like the Mate desktop and for this purpose, you know, if you want to, if you want simplicity in a simple operating system, I like Lubuntu or Zubuntu. But for this, because I want a little bit more sophistication within the uh, control panel and the menus and the, and the overall configuration, I went with Ubuntu Mate. So what you're looking at here is Ubuntu Mate. Now, I've got it set up just the way I want it. So my next choice was, how do I get all of the software that I need for um, digital audio production? Now, I didn't want all of the stuff that goes with Ubuntu Studio. I just didn't want all that junk. And I really shouldn't say junk, but it was things that I just don't need and don't want to bog down the computer with. So I did a little research and I found that you can actually take your standard Ubuntu install, whether it be Ubuntu, Lubuntu, Ubuntu Mate, you can take your standard Ubuntu install and pull in 
just the aspects of Ubuntu Studio that you want, that you're interested in, which is what I decided to do. So if I look, if we look at my menu right now, you can see that it's basically the Ubuntu Studio menu. But the software that I've pulled in is limited mostly to the audio end and I have control over that and I'll show you how to do that but if I look at audio production I've got everything that I need for audio production but if I look at graphics it's limited because I didn't really want to do graphics processing video production is just what I need so and if you if you go down media it breaks it down into various categories like media playback sound and video universal access ubuntu studio information i've got the ubuntu studio website link ubuntu studio mailing list and i've also got under system tools the ubuntu studio meta installer so that if in the future if i click on that if in the future I want to pull in other aspects of Ubuntu Studio, all I need to do is click on check the one that I want. For example, I've, I've got the audio, but if I wanted to pull in uh, the complete low latency Linux kernel, if I wanted the studio graphics, the photography, the publishing, or the video package, I could go ahead and just check off what I want, click OK, and it'll go ahead and pull in all aspects of that particular category. So I am pretty much set up for future expansion if I choose to do so. So I've got all of the Ubuntu Studio uh, information that I need but I didn't need to download the entire Ubuntu Studio distribution. Now let me show you how to do that. If we open up a terminal and we do apt search Ubuntu Studio you will see that it brings up all of the choices that you have before you and you can decide what you want to install and I'll tell you what I installed on the uh, on the audio end First of all, I installed Ubuntu Studio Dash Audio. Then I did Audio Core and Audio Plugins. So that gave me everything I needed for audio production. I installed Ubuntu Studio Controls. I installed, and as you can see, you can take the Desktop Publishing Core, Desktop. You can uh, basically pull in what you want. But for me, I did the Ubuntu Studio menu, which gave me this menu. That's how I ended up with that menu. And as you can see, you can pull in photography, publishing. I did, and the Ubuntu Studio wallpapers, because I wanted to see the wallpapers. So I just did what I needed for the audio end if you want photography you can pull in just that if you want publishing or video you can pull in just what you need I would go ahead and pull in the wallpapers though and the menu and the controls Ubuntu Studio controls now if I go to the control panel you can see that it has, it has added Ubuntu Studio controls to my control panel. When I pull that up for audio, and, and it just pulled in the audio group, um, it pulled in the user. You can check to make sure you're included in the audio group. And you can check for real-time audio, which reduces latency. Now, you can also install a real-time or a low-latency kernel, which with audio, I haven't installed the low-latency kernel yet, but it's very easy to do if I want to uh, 
right from the command line it's extremely easy now what that does is it basically reduces the time for example when I'm playing guitar if I pluck a string I want to hear that sound through my speakers instantaneously well that is more likely if you're using a real-time or a low latency kernel because it gives preference to the hardware it gives priority to your hardware configuration so that you can get that sound immediately and the delay is in milliseconds which usually is not picked up by the human ear so right now I am good to go um, with my digital audio workstation using Ubuntu Mate I've got everything I need right here and nothing that I don't and that was important to me I don't want anything that I didn't need so basically guys what I've given you is the information on how you can use the aspects that you are interested in within Ubuntu Studio but not pull in everything that you don't need so I hope that gives you some information that will help you and that you'll be able to use down the line now just before I uh, end the video I'll show you um, for the audio production when you to show you what is required if I plug in my guitar I have to use QJack control if I start it you can see that it pulls in my ins and outs and then when I start my my guitar or my my guitar uh, effects processor I've got two of them Guitarix and Rackarack so if I pull in Rackarack you can see it automatically pulls in the inputs the correct inputs and the outputs and these little lines are basically connecting the inputs to the outputs so that <clears throat> hopefully when you hit that first chord uh, you've got some sound coming out of your speakers so guys that is it for this video how to and I'm gonna stop that how to pull in just what you need for Ubuntu Studio and get everything you need for your particular digital hobby so guys that is it for this video please rate comment and subscribe thank you for stopping by the channel and I will see you soon take care